Look at this. We got big. Hey, how you doing? you can just call me Jamie over here I do lifestyle and travel content so if that's the type of content you enjoy go ahead and click that video and subscribe to this channel okay and for my returning subscribers hey y'all what's up my people okay but let's get into this week's video so you can see that I'm all I've done I'm dressed up I already did my makeup y'all know my minimal makeup routine and then you're just seeing this video you've already saw that my i did my no makeup makeup routine so that video will be dropping before i drop this video but i did my makeup just put my hair back in a slick bun because it needs to be washed and then i just got on a um, black all in one body um like a body not really a body super just like a little all in one and then i just got on some blue little short jeans because i'm getting ready to go to an art show a free art show at that so it's a free art show on the park so i'm just all dressed up to check that out but yeah i'm gonna take y'all along with me so let's go ahead and get ready to go to this park it is hard as hell out here, y'all. Just trying to figure out what we gonna get to eat, and then we gonna go sit in the shade, and then finish enjoying the art show. All right, y'all. So we had to come and sit on the stairs in the shade because it's hard as hell in that sun. So we just went on our burger order. Ooh, look at that sun off the girl face. But we just went on our burger order. I got a veggie burger with some fries. Well, we got two veggie burgers and some fries. And he just eating his. It's ice, and we just chilling. And then we'll continue to look at some more art. They got all type of art out here, like soap, pictures, just people different selling different things. So we just chilling, waiting on our food. I'm about to tear that food up because I'm so hungry. But I'll get back with y'all. We got veggie burgers and fries. y'all so we are finally back from the park where the art show was it was at Piedmont Park and when I say that the art show was really really nice it was really nice um they had different people out there with their exhibits selling their exhibits so art can really be anything art can be candles art can be oh excuse me art can be pictures art can be something that you got in your living room a piece of furniture or a piece of something exhibited that you might put on your dining room table so that's what i mean by art not just pictures because we had they had different people out there selling like candles pictures something like i said that you could put on your dining room table um they were even people out there 
selling doggy treats. You hear me? Like they were selling doggy treats, nice up doggy treats in the nice bags for the dogs. Because there was a lot of people out there who had their animals with them. So, um, it was, um, really, really nice. I like, I really enjoyed myself. The only issue I had was, and now that I think about it, it's really not an issue is, um, for the art show, you had to pay like $35 for parking, which I'm like, oh, wow. Like, why $35 just to park to go look at some pictures when I realized once I got inside the park that okay I see why because they got a bunch of different things and they probably gotta pay um to keep things on lights on or to keep the park nice for when people come to have things at the park so I understand why it well you had to pay for parking but it was at Piedmont Park and not knowing that at the it, it's Piedmont Park is like different levels. So level we was on level two, I believe, for Piedmont Park and then level one, I believe, or it might have been the other way around. Level one was like Botanical Gardens or something like that, which if you have not checked out my Botanical Gardens vlog, make sure you check that out. But yeah, that's that's when I had went to Alice in Wonderland. So, um... But other than that, I think that was the only issue I, I thought about. Well, I thought I had was for the parking. And then it was just so fucking hot out there. Like, it was just extremely hot. When I say it was hot, it was dang on hot. Like, that sun will have you beat down, tired. Like, we walked around for a little bit. Well, when we first got into to the park, we went to go, okay. We saw a little bit and then we was like, okay, we was hungry. Let's go get something to eat. We got something to eat. We waiting to go, while we waiting on our food, we went to go find shade because that's how hot it was. Then once we got our food, we went to go sit in the little field where they had like the little sitting areas, the table and chairs. So we sat there and ate our food and it was like, it started having like a little breeze coming and it started to get dark because I was like, dang, is it going to rain or something like that? So, as we, we finished eating our food, then it was like, we started back walking and it's like, it started getting hot again. I'm like, God dang. And as we walk into the end, it's like we sweating. I'm like, oh my God. It is hard. I, I try to get as much footage as I could, could at this art show, but I know my footage might be trash because it was just the lighting. And it was just like so, so bright. And I was just like, you know, after I had I had enough, I'm like, it, it's just hot. So I don't know how this footage is going to turn out, but I'm going to try to make it do what it do for the best of my ability. But yeah, other than that, I think those was the only two issues. Well, which I said parking really wasn't an issue, but um, and then how hot it was. And after we finished walking at that one end to get to you know see all of the exhibits, it was another end with exhibits, and I was like, uh uh, I can't do it. And I it, it was just walking to get back to the car was tiring, like to go up the stairs, just tiring. I was so tired, like I had to when we got in the garage. We had to sit in the car for a minute, let the car run, turn that air on. Because, look, I had started feeling dizzy. And I'm like, yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm tired. And we had water. That's what we was drinking. We was drinking water the whole time. So, I'm like, I'm so glad I didn't start drinking no alcohol. Because I would have been done. But, yeah. That it was really, really nice. And if you get a chance, well, I think this was the only day that they had the art show. We found out about the art show on Instagram because you know how on Instagram when it be like, um, this gonna be happening on this, this, this day and that day on in Atlanta. So it was free. Like to get to get to go to go see the uh, exhibit, the art show is free. But you know you gotta pay for, like I said, paying for parking. So we that came up on Instagram and we took advantage to go see that. But yeah, that was really really nice, and we just keep an eye out and you know anything else that we need to see, 
we're gonna, you know, that we think we might enjoy, we'll go do that. But I just wanted to check in with you. Yes, sir. I want some pizza. Okay, I'll, I'll fix you your pizza. You want your pizza now? Oh, yeah. Okay. But other than that, I'm about to go tend to this one right here because he wants his pizza. And I will check back in with y'all.
Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Finding you. Good. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My office space. Okay. Look good on you. Thank you. Um, okay, so I guess we'll kind of go through these peeps, huh? Okay. One by one. Um, let's look at the file. Okay. Do you want, do you need anything that needs to be updated in the file section or any changes need to be made? I can think of right now. I see they added, they have the 2022-2023 W-4 forms. So I don't know if that should stay in there. Do you want that to stay in there or do you just want me to delete that out? The 2023 W-2s? No, the 2022 W-4 and the 2023 W-4 forms. I don't think they have to be updated every year. I think it's just the first, um, I don't know. Do they have to be updated every year? Um, I believe so, but I can take the 2022 out and 2023 out. They already have the 2024 in there, so I'm going to leave that in there. Okay. So currently you have 76 people that is in Bamboo. Are those the, and that's everyone that's been updated, right? That's the most updated. That's everyone that's currently still here and updated. Okay. And then the the contact list that's all updated that's that. updated um i'm not familiar with that report that you the game on pro and user final doc so i don't too much which i'll remove the people off that's not you know currently in there just just like highlight them a different color okay when i was looking at their profiles on firebase okay and the green people didn't have an account. Okay. Didn't have a professional um, page. Okay. Can I have notes like these days? And then I can make a note of the people that need to be removed on this list. And then, okay, I see where I can highlight it at. I'll highlight it like. Uh, give me a name and I'll see if I can do the strike through the thing. Okay. Okay. So. SI, she's number 48 on the list. Mm -hmm. So she's no longer, right? Yeah, she's in, yeah, she's no longer with us. Oh, oh, you know why? That's the text box. Okay. It's this one with the bucket. Okay. Yeah, this way it, we still have them like on file, uh -huh. but they're just archived. Okay. I'm going back through it too. The people in um, Bamboo, and matching them up too with um with the, the correct people. right because i know some of them that's still with us they are under the green section which says that they don't have no fire base or something like that so i didn't hear you i said well i think that's at least will keep us updated here so then when i cross our friends right um, and then i'll follow up with you next week see where we're at okay you need anything? No, I don't. Thank you so much. No problem. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, y'all. So I am, as you saw, I was doing checking in with my CEO because if you don't know, I am a HR director and I work for a mental health startup app. I work with hiring on contractors for um, jobs such as social worker, mental health professionals, mental wellness professionals. So we as you saw i was sitting there talking to her and we were just going through the excel spreadsheet to make sure that everyone who is um on the excel spreadsheet is aligned with the people that are in the system so some of the people that may have still been in the system need to be removed off who, who are no longer how i want to say no some of the people who are in the system that are no longer active with the company need to be removed off the excel spreadsheet so that's what we were discussing and going over but i didn't check back in with y'all after my walk so yeah after that 
I was tired. I went to go do some door dashing and then I came back and relaxed for a little bit. But now I'm just on line and checking my emails, going through that. Look, I need to do better because currently I have over 1600 emails that are just sitting in my inbox. I really need to go in and emails that don't pertain to me, get rid of and clean this junk up i like i really need to get some start of uh, structure and order going on but yeah i just wanted to check back in with y'all so y'all can see some of what i do on my daily as an hr director working from home i hope to get more work from home content out for y'all when things really pick up at work because it's really been slow at work right now so hopefully in the coming months i can get more the day in the life of an hr director just get more content from y'all because listen i am spoiled now like i am so spoiled i love working from home i think if i had to go back in the office i don't know what i would do but I, I probably could, but I just wouldn't want to go back in the office full time. I would really want to do a uh, hybrid if I had to go back in the office. But I'm so spoiled with working from home and, you know, checking in with my CEO when need to be and get clarification of what's going on with the business. Yeah, but right now it is 12.08 lunchtime i need to be thinking about what i'm going to eat because i'm like extremely hungry like really really hungry so i need to be um figuring out what i'm going to eat i know i have a leftover chipotle bowl from last night so i'm thinking about probably heating that chipotle bowl up and just knocking that out but i'm trying to see what else i gotta do today because i think i when i was on the um call with her well the meeting the microsoft teams with her i was just going through and highlighting the people that are no longer here putting that in a separate area but i really need to go through some emails and try to delete what no longer pertains to me and get in here which i'll have that together by next week but what else I have planned? I know I need to, because I'm about to get off in an hour or so, which it's lunchtime, so no need for me to really go back to work. But I know I need to wash my hair today because when I said my hair is dirty, my hair is really, really dirty. So I need to wash my hair because I plan on braiding it down because I'm going to do a glueless wig tutorial. So be on the lookout for that. Drop That probably drops sometime next week. And then I'm turning around and getting my hair done next week for DragonCon because DragonCon is next week. And yeah, I'm excited about that. This will be my first DragonCon um, festival that I went to because I know they have the big ones. The big one is like one of them. I believe it's in California. I've never been. But I'm going to be going to the one out here in Atlanta. Y'all won't see, I won't tell y'all who I'm going to be yet. Y'all will see it when I vlog it or I post the pictures. But yeah, y'all. So I need to be heating up this Chipotle bowl because I'm hungry and I will get back with y'all.